how do you tell the McClure twins apart? That's been the big thing. Oh, that's the question. How do you tell the girls apart? Well, I look at them. That's <laughs> that's how I tell them apart. I know them, obviously. We you know, know them? They... You know who they are? Yeah. You guys yeah. are getting close? You get, we have a relationship. You're getting to know each other? We have a relationship. Got a rela- she's got a relationship with the girls now. So They have slight physical differences, I guess. That um... Ten ways to tell the McClure twins apart. Number one. Number one. Lexi is slightly taller than Ava. Like a little bit. Like she says half an inch and I just say even like a, just a I modicum. Because who measures anything less than a half an inch? Half an inch. Well, men measure their... Oh, I'm, okay. I'm not, not going to go there. This is family a family friendly, Family friendly channel. channel. I'm family friendly and also backlit that plan again. That means I care about everybody on this family channel. So there you go. Just to let you know. People do measure things though. I, I wouldn't know anything about it. I don't, I don't know. I'm just saying I've heard things on the internet. So, number two, they run differently. Not that people get to see them run that often. I mean, at least not on YouTube. <laughs> if you guys ever, if you're on Facebook, uh, by the way, if you're not, find us McClure Twins. We do like Facebook Live, and I always take them to the park and let them run around. And uh, I love the way they run. I guess we can describe that um, Alexis is like a, a little a little bulldog. <laughs> she's like, a power sprinter. She's a little power sprinter like this, whereas Ava kind of, turns the wrist out like like a Wonder Woman type thing. Like she's Wonder Woman trying to get power from her palms. So she's like the opposite. Well, I think Spider-Man does this. Spider-Man. So. Uh, I didn't do my research before. Ava, she's less like this now. She just more like, she doesn't do this. She doesn't have her stride. She just kind of, her arms just kind of go. She doesn't punch her in the face. Right, she doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't do that. Yeah. So they definitely run differently. Third way. Third way, if you ever... A lot of hairstyles, maybe you can't tell, but if you've watched hair tutorials that I've done with them, you can see that Ava's hair is longer, but Lexi's hair is thicker. So sometimes when I do like a wash and go or something like that, it kind of balances out because Lexi's hair is so thick that I can get it to weigh down. It looks about the same length as Ava's, but you have no idea. Lexi's hair is about as thick as mine, so it's very thick. Very, very like voluminous. So is mine. Another way to tell them apart is that Ava has a slightly slimmer, longer face, and Alexa's face is rounder and a little bit fuller. And it probably goes along with her being a hair taller. Lexi has no problem eating. Like, she'll eat food. I hope she eats Like you. I, I she eat eats like, like you. I'm a caveman. Ava, on the other hand, spends most of her time at the table talking rather than eating. Alexis is more of a free spirit slash goofball, I guess. Complete goof. Alexis, I can't stand it. I'm done. <laughs> Whereas, I mean, Ava is very funny. But she's very serious, very astute. She likes to, um, very inquisitive, likes to ask the questions. You've seen in the videos how Ava can just really get into people's business. Why, 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 why? Asking, you know, this thing. Why are you talking? Uh, because, you're talking <laughs> because you're talking and I'm trying to understand what it is you're talking about. And then I, I want Ava to make a favorite me. I, I can play with them. I can play with my sister, I can play, play with my dad, I can play with them, I can play with her. <laughs> um, why uh, are you from my own? My baby is very, very, very sweet. Yeah, Lexi, Lexi likes to just, you know, run free and kind of be the entertainer. Well, I need you to stop. You're like a, a jelly bean. Just sit still. Sandy bean. That's a sandy bean. Like he said, Ava is very funny. Like she cracks me up on a daily basis, but more in like the things she say. Like she's very intellectual with her mm -hmm. comments and jokes. You're just like, where did this come from? Yeah, the other day, Ava, we were playing outside and she went up too close to the road. So I said, Ava, don't go too close to the road because a car might come by and just pick you up and put them in the car and drive off with you. And she said, but they won't have any car seats. 
<laughs> That's Ava. You cannot just tell her something. Another way the girls are different is Alexis has a scar. Where's her scar? Yeah, we should probably preface it with these things that happened when they were, I think Alexis was one and a half, two, something like that. And so Ava down. was maybe six or seven months um, that they got these scars. But it's really the only markings on them that are you different. Yeah, they don't have birthmarks or anything like that. Actually, you know what I forgot? Remember Ava got shingles? Oh, yeah, yeah. Surprisingly, she got shingles. But that's in her lower back, right? Yeah, so she has... Um, no one's ever going to see this, obviously, because she's if, never, ever going to expose her lower no. back. <laughs> if, if you see Ava's lower back, then you're going to jail. <laughs> um, Ava, if you look really close, you can kind of tell on the top of her nose. You can yeah, right? Top. Dead center. She... Um, well, six or seven months old, I had her on the changing table and, you know, kids like to try to like pull themselves up and the edge of the changing table. This was before I went and bought, you know, you buy all those protective things now. She like tried to stand up and she just hit her nose on the edge of the changing table and just like scraped off the, it's pretty gross. Enjoy your meal. <laughs> Enjoy the picture of it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Another way is Ava has more of like a, not high pitch, but a higher voice than Alexis. She kind of talks a little bit more babyish. And I think it's because she's actually not spoiled. What's the word I want to use? Ava likes to get her way. So she mm -hmm. talks, ah, I don't know why I can't, you know. So she speaks like that a lot more often than Alexis. Alexis' voice is a little bit. I don't even want to use the word deeper. It's not like she has a deep voice, but. Do you like when mom and dad have to go to work? No. Yes. 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 No. No. What? No. Okay. Hey. 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 No. That's not nice. Don't do that. No. Do not do that. No. It's almost like Ava wants more sympathy. So yeah. you know when you want sympathy, you kind of like call for a High little bit pitch, more. Yeah. But yeah, Ava Ava is and if you also I know because I edit all the videos, when Ava starts talking, sometimes the shrieking will cause the levels to clip and Alexis doesn't because of the <laughs> the shrieking. She's like a shrieking dinosaur. So the next way is uh Alexis's brows are a bit thicker. Says mom, I haven't noticed this. Like I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm the dad. They, I don't know. Totally I don't notice that the brow is thicker. Yeah, I mean, it's not like she's got, you know, Rita Kahlo. Is that her name? I don't know who Rita Kahlo is. Frida. Frida. I Kahlo. said Rita. I don't know Frida. Rita or I mean, Fr you or, don't know who Roberta. Frida is? No, I don't know Frida. Do you guys know who Frida? Of course. Salma Hayek played her in the movie. People comment on it. Lexi's brows are a little bit fuller. Literally, like, maybe she's got five more hairs on her brows than Ava. But they're also slightly more arched at the end. You look, comparing them in pictures, you can um, you can see that. If you picture side by side, you really look at their brows, you'll see the difference. And then you said Ava has uh, a bit more thicker edges? Or what? What's it called? Baby hers. Baby hers? Oh. Hers. Not hairs, hers. But the thicker Her baby right here? hers. Yeah, they're, it's not, actually, I won't even say they're thicker. They're just a bit longer. Oh. And maybe it's because Lex Ava's hair is um, um, not as thick as Alexis. Mm. So it, the, her, Lexi's baby's hairs don't just lay as flat. But yeah, so Ava's edges, as people like to call them, her baby hers, are a little bit fuller. Um, yeah, so now if I'm not sure which one is what, I'm gonna say, oh, let me look at your edges. Let me let me count the the brow. Oh, you you got three more little hairs there. You must be Alexis. Am I right? You're Alexis. It's funny with the girls because they get used to people not knowing wh who is who. So I do it all the time. I just say, you know, which one are you? And so I'm Alexis. Yeah. And they don't know, you know, You're sarcasm yet. Mm -hmm. Well, they, they kind of do. They're they're getting there. But I, I'll just always say, which which one which one are you? Oh, I'm Ava. <laughs> so perk up. I'm Ava. <laughs> They think they're helping you figure it out. <laughs> okay, everyone, that was uh, aesthetically, physically, how to tell the girls apart. We didn't go into the other ways, like, you know, one likes vanilla, one likes chocolate, those ice types cream. of things. We're yeah. talking about ice cream. We wanted to talk about just the ways the girls are different physically. That that you any, can see, anybody yeah. could look at them in video if you look close enough. 
What do you guys think? Are there any other things that you could add to the list? Is there anything that you've been able, because a lot of you have watched many of the videos and you've probably studied and you found out how to tell them apart. How do you tell them apart? I'm curious in the comments. Well, there's things that people say sometimes that I'm like, I don't even notice that. Like I've heard, I've seen a lot of comments about like, they have different sized foreheads. I'm like, I, I didn't know that. It's like, no, I, I, I will look after that comment. I'm like, I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know. Maybe somebody got the little <laughs> measurement to the screen and they're on their own. They, well, they're probably watching the video on a phone. So they probably were measuring the centimeters on the iPhone with the forehead. Uh, there, there we go. Okay. I can tell the difference. Side note, everybody. McClurtwins.com goes live on uh, Saturday, July 1st, July 1st. So McClurtwins.com, we've been working really hard on it. We've been trying to really plan for the girls' future in our lives. We don't really want the girls going on like auditions and, you know, cattle calling the girls out. They don't want that. They're three. So what we've done is we have a website where we have some of the clothes that we like. Uh, we have built a boutique. Um, Ami is, you know, really good at fashion and I'm really good at websites and photography so we really put a lot of time into really kind of starting to build a business based on the representation of the girls and trying to build a life that is inclusive within our family so that you know the girls don't have to go on auditions and stuff like that if they don't want to so if well not even just that like whether they choose show business life or not it'd be great to have built a business for them to continue on and and you know go to college don't go to college whatever they decide to do they have something to build on and even and at least i think a knowledge that you know your parents built a business for you you can mm -hmm. build a business you can run your brand you know when you get old enough obviously you know this is much less for us and much more for them and you know the, the family's future you know being together as a family is I think what's most important. So McClurtwins.com, that's going to be our business. We're going to offer clothes that the girls wear and that we like and some merchandise. If you guys are interested, then go there. If not, then don't go there. It's, it's fine. Uh, we're very subtle about things. People think in our position that we make a lot of money and stuff, and, and we really don't. Like, where is it? You know, uh, if you guys sit through ads, we make some money from that. But you know what? Does it, is, does it really a lot? I, I usually spend seven, eight hours a day editing video, videos for you guys. So why not sit through an ad? Because I'm not copying, pasting, you know, content from an iPhone. I'm really trying to make good content for you guys. We're very thoughtful about what we're doing. We're trying to like make it worth your while to sit through a video. So if you are a fan of us, at some point, check out the website. Or if not, just keep being a fan and keep subscribing. Uh, please keep commenting. We try to engage with everyone. We're so grateful. And so McClurtwins.com, is um, our attempt to really build a business that's really about our family and we're excited about it and you can go there July 1st on Saturday and shirts and products and stuff like that if you want something fine if not tell a friend right yes. all right exciting okay can I say something to you while oh, this is on yes okay I'm gonna try to keep it together okay but I want to say something to you Am I supposed to put this in the video? That's up to you. Okay. You, I mean, you edit the video, so okay. you can cut it if you want, but okay. I just want to say something. I love you. I love you. I can't even describe how much I love you, and I cannot imagine having anyone else be the father of my children, of our children. And as much as I wasn't ready to uh, have another child, I'm excited and I can't wait and I'm gonna be officially a mom of three kids. It's insane. But I just wanna tell you I love you. I love you too.